You guys need to try out this awesome Kilo 141 class setup. It's a perfect mix of aggression slash stealth. It's really great for close quarter combat as well as those mid to long range gunfights. And that's why I absolutely like this class setup right here. So let's get into the class setup. So for our barrel, we're running the Sin Guard Arms Whisper. You get a two for one with this one. You get the sound suppression to keep our weapon off of the compass whenever we're firing our weapon, as well as you get extra bullet velocity. Now there is a con of aim down sight speed, but we don't need to worry about that because we're going to be using the no stock attachment which is probably one of my favorite attachments if you haven't guessed by now because it gives us more movement speed as well as aim down sight speed which does negate that negative that we see on the barrel moving on to the perk we're using sleight of hand again if we're going to be playing aggressive and we're going to go deep in the spawn and we're going to go up against multiple enemies at a time it's very important that we stay reloaded as fast as we possibly can now if you don't want to put the perk on you can definitely put on a sight to help with your accuracy and I do recommend putting on the Cronin LP945 Mini Reflex Sight. There's just something about this sight that just makes it so much easier to zero in on your opponents. All right, so moving on to the rear grip, we're using this stippled grip tape. This one will give us more aim down sight speed as well as that sprint to fire speed, which is very important, especially in close quarter combat situations. You're gonna wanna pull up your gun a lot faster after coming from a sprint when you do see an enemy pop out of nowhere. For the last attachment, we're running the 60 round magazine. Of course, course we want to have as much ammo as we possibly can in our reserve so that we can take on as many opponents as we possibly can again this is an aggressive class setup so having more rounds in your magazines is definitely going to help you compete against multiple enemies at a time so for the next portion of this video i'm going to be breaking down my gameplay using this exact same class setup if you guys do enjoy these gameplays make sure to leave a like on this video so that i know to keep continuing to bring the content that you guys want to see and if you're new around here make Make sure you subscribe today man join turbo nation make it official we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers and i would really appreciate it if you could join me for the ride hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the gameplay peace all right so here we are we're playing on ramaza so every time i spawn in from this area of the map i like to race towards the middle of the map where the cafe is as fast as i possibly can because i want to beat the enemies to the spot because i know exactly where they're going to be spawning in from so i'm going to open this door and i'm going to pre-aim down this line of sight because that's where they're most likely going to be coming in from as well as i'm also going to check this area as well because that's where enemies could possibly be remember this is the beginning of the match so i'm going to play a bit passive aggressive and just let the game unfold and then make my moves according to what's going on in the game so here i'm going to get a different angle and slowly inch my way forward to their spawn but i'm not going to push their spawn completely so i'm going to quickly glance here to make sure that there's no enemies that did pass by here and as well check this area if there's enemies going up the staircase now i'm going to pre-aim here there's nothing now i did notice that there's footsteps there but i'm not going to go ahead and try to pursue because i did notice that my teammate did kill the guy that was just here and also if you look at the map those lines outside of the triangle do indicate that he was just engaging in a gunfight so i'm gonna go ahead and retreat just a little bit and stick out my head i'm gonna come back in and then stick out then i noticed that there was an enemy coming out from their spawn as well as another enemy behind the crate that just appeared so in this situation i'm looking to engage in a gunfight and I missed my shots, unfortunately. Then at the last second, I noticed that there was another enemy right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bait him to come towards me. And as he's traveling towards me, I'm gonna switch my location and get him from a different angle. And that's the most important thing that you need to do is that if you know that there's an enemy coming for you, you gotta make sure you're trying to outsmart them as much as possible. And as you can see, I did get the easy kill. Now I'm looking for that other guy and he's still back in his spawn. So I've concluded that this area is just way too hot right now so i'm gonna go ahead and rotate also because my teammates have started to migrate towards the middle of the map here so i'm trying to cover as much ground as possible and i know for a fact that the enemies are still spawning in this area right here if there's nobody here i'm gonna proceed to advance but of course i'm not gonna push right away and also if you did miss that on the mini map check right here look at where my teammate is keep an eye on that he disappeared so that is my cue to go ahead and aim down this line of sight just in case an enemy does appear and lo and behold there was some Somebody there so now i'm going to try to come up here and get a different vantage point on their spawn just in case because i want to try and get as many kills as i possibly can and like i said earlier i want to try to farm as many kills and keep them suppressed at their spawn so i come down here to the bottom of the cafe to make sure nobody tries to pass through underneath so now i've got my uav i'm looking to call that in right away for 
for more information. And I'm also sound whoring. I've got my dead silence on. I hear this guy's footsteps approaching. And also, I did notice someone right behind me. I saw those footsteps at the last second. And that's exactly why I prompted myself right away to do a drop shot so that I can make my body as less predictable as possible for the enemy to shoot. Let's play that back one more time. I call in this UAV. And look at that UAV sweep. I already noticed that there was one guy right behind me, but I'm going to focus on the guy that's nearest to me first. I'm going to kill him, and then I'm going to quickly turn around, notice those footsteps, and I drop shot it right away to save my life. So now I'm going to reload, and I'm going to go up here again to switch my location because I know that those two guys that I just killed, they spawned in over here, and they're most likely going to want to rush into the cafe and kill me for those revenge kills. That's why it's always important to switch your location as fast as you possibly can, especially on a small map like Ramaza, dude. It's just so easy to get flanked. So that's why I take it the safe route and just keep switching my locations. Now, the reason why I'm pointing into their spawn is because that UAV is a dead giveaway of telling me where the enemies are coming in from and like i was saying earlier ramaza is one of those maps that you could definitely control the spawns and keep them at bay and that's what i'm trying to do over here and unfortunately they're spamming me with lots of grenades right now so i'm trying to get as many kills as i possibly can without being killed so this is where i make that decision to just retreat and i'm going to go ahead and call in my VTOL because my uav has run out i want more information so i'm going to call it in and the VTOL actually does give you a free uav sweep so if i play it here as you can see the red dots do appear and that that tells me exactly where the opponents are at so i'm going to let it sweep and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to direct my attention to the ruins because i did notice on the minimap that my teammate actually died this is where my teammate actually died i'm always constantly looking at that minimap i'm glancing right away there he is he disappeared so that's why i'm going to direct my attention to this area right here now i'm about to die and get flanked from behind but the reason why is because my vtol man whenever you call in those vtols it's just really hard to hear what's going on and as you can see this guy was able to get the easy flank on me. I tried to turn around because I did hear the door open for that audio cue, but it was just too late. So I tossed my C4 in there because I felt like maybe the enemy was still in there. I could get that easy kill. Now, the reason why I went back out here into the back alleyway is because as soon as I spawned in and I threw this C4, watch it. I get actually shot right here and this indicates which direction I was being shot from. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get out of the way as soon as I possibly can by going up these stairs and I actually came up on a kill right there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to stim shot right away. Now as you can see I do have two teammates right here with me that this enemy is actually locked in on and he's distracted by. So that's why I decided it was still safe to go for that kill. And this is where I decide to flip my strategy. So I'm still in the middle of the map. I'm still taking control i'm keeping an eye on those lines of sight my teammates here are a dead giveaway of where i should be going at this time and most likely the enemies are going to be spawning in from this area that's why i go ahead and i make sure to cautiously move into their spawn and i'm going to pre-aim here and i did see that there was an enemy running nearby and i played that rather aggressively looking back on this footage i probably should have not pursued him the way i did because i did get flanked if you look closely right here an enemy clearly closed that door so that lets me know that there's somebody in there and i'm looking to take control of the cafe once again so instead of just barging in there i just open the door i use my c4 and as you can see there are footsteps in there as well so he could be in the corner somewhere so i don't want to risk it nothing on my c4 i'm still following these footsteps while checking the corners there's nothing in here there's still footsteps out there and i don't push right away because i'm not sure where they're coming in from but i do go ahead and make that decision to go ahead and get that head glitch now i was being shot from behind here so i quickly go up these stairs i stim shot and i tried to get another vantage point into their spawn but unfortunately there was somebody sitting in that corner right there and quite frankly there's nothing you can really do against opponents who just sit in corners but that's okay man because those people who just sit in corners are most likely not going to do well for the duration of the game so now i know exactly where that guy is he's in that corner but i noticed that these footsteps are right here so on my way i do pick up another kill this guy is sitting in the corner once again i'm being shot from behind i quickly stim shot and slide i'm pre-aiming to get ready and now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to quickly slide cancel and take him by surprise prize and that's why slide canceling is so superior in this game and why you should learn it now i did hear some footsteps so that's why i'm going over here to investigate unfortunately i missed the shot and i decided not to pursue that guy so because i did hear some footsteps behind me and that's why i was able to turn around and drop shot on that guy so now that i'm looking at where my teammates are on the minimap what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go in for the flank because i've assessed that there's no enemies in front of me no enemies coming in from their spawn so that leaves one area of the map that 
they're most likely going to be at, which is going to be the ruin. So I'm going to come in here for the flank. I'm going to pre-aim down here because sometimes they spawn right there. There's nothing. So I'm going to check my left really quick. And lo and behold, I did get a nice flank here. And I got my UAV. And I'm going to call that in right away because I'm here all alone. And I want to see if there are other enemies nearby. And I'm going to pre-aim because I actually did see somebody moving up these stairs just in case he comes back because he knows that his teammate has died. So I'm going to pre-aim again to get ready for that gunfight. So now I'm in a little tight spot right now. I'm hurt just a little bit. And there's a possibility that I could get flanked by enemies who are spawning in the ruins area because, again, all my teammates are occupying this area of the map, which is behind me. So that's why I quickly go ahead and I pre-aim down here. And I notice this guy coming from the ruins, so I take him out because, again, I'm reading the enemy and making sure that they're not taking me by surprise so i was able to take him out coming out from his spawn now as you can see i'm about to go ahead and go for the flank once again that uav is telling me where they're at teammate takes my kill so i'm going to continue again for the flank now i'm looking to take advantage of these couple kills right here i see one guy trying to get away take him out going up the stairs now there was a third enemy but the reason why i decided not to go ahead and pursue this guy right here in the bottom left corner is because i already took out one guy here and i'm about to take out this guy right here and I do not want to risk being taken out of my streak because I'm really close to my advanced UAV right now. So this is where I start to play just a little bit smarter and more passive aggressive because as soon as he saw both of his teammates die, there's a possibility that he could turn around and engage on me and I'm still in my animation of getting into a gunfight with this guy. So it might have been too late if I pop my head back out. So that's why I retreat into the corner and decide to go around for the flank and get a different angle on the situation. Maybe he's going to pass by in front of me. So I'm going to pre-aim over here just to make sure there is one guy right there but i decide not to engage because again i'm really close to my advanced uav so i want to get a different angle so and here is where i decided to rotate into the cafe area i'm going to pre-aim and i did see this guy last minute i should have got that kill but teammate stole the kill from me but that's okay so the reason why i come over here is because i see on the minimap that my teammate is engaging in a gunfight based on those lines outside of his triangle so he's looking at in that direction obviously that tells me that there's something going on and there are enemy tracers that did did pass by right in front of me so again i'm looking to get two more kills man i'm like dude i'm so close to this and my teammate did take him out and they are deciding to proceed towards their spawn so that tells me that that situation is just not worth checking out anymore i should probably rotate to the other side to cover more ground so i can come up on easier kills so again i'm looking over here somebody just threw a grenade so i quickly dodge that and i pre-aim once again to take him out and he is definitely caught off guard so now i'm paying attention to the ruins area because spawns have definitely flipped look at where my teammates are on the mini map see how fast the spawns do flip so i'm looking down this line of sight because again i'm aware that this is where they're most likely spawning in from i quickly spot some footprints that are going towards this way so i'm going to go ahead and try to make the connection and beat the enemy to where he is predicted to be so i got my advanced uav so now I'm basically just going to follow those red dots and red doritos on that mini map and position myself in a way where i can get these kills safely so i pick up this guy and i also did notice last second that there was an enemy so as you can see there is an enemy right there he sees me 100 percent and i know for a fact that he's there because of that mini map telling me where the enemy location is so instead of just trying to engage in a gunfight with this guy i know that i'm in a running animation right now and my aim down sight speed is probably not going to be really fast coming from this sprint so that's why i decide to find an escape route which is right here so i slide really quickly as you can see he did try to shoot at me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch my location I pop on my dead silence. I throw my C4 in hopes that he was going to go that way. I also pick up another kill on my way there. I'm pre-aiming. I know for a fact he's there, obviously. The minimap tells me everything I need to know. But instead of just going straight in there because he expects me to go in there, he's in defensive mode right now. And I do know that I have a teammate right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for this guy who has no idea that he's about to get flanked. Look at his triangle. He's facing towards this direction. So that means that this is going to be an easy flank for me. Now, teammate is going to go in there and i'm going to let teammate have that kill whether he kills him or not i'm definitely going to go in here just to make sure and that's why i was able to get that easy kill this is the part where i'm able to get the easy kill because he's distracted by my teammate again like i said this guy plays smart he knows exactly what's going on so i'm basically using my teammate as bait so my teammate just died right here so i'm gonna come out here i'm gonna pre-aim and definitely catch him by surprise he probably thought that he was gonna kill me so here we are the enemy is definitely spawning in from the construction site based on the advanced uav which has now gone away so now 
I'm going to rotate because we don't have any more advanced UAVs. So here I'm looking to go ahead and call in my veto for that free UAV sweep that I was talking about. So I'm going to call it in right there in their spawn where I believe they're going to be. So I do see that there is one enemy right here. So I'm going to try to make that connection and predict his movement, which is going to be right here. So I'm going to pre-aim down this line of sight. I'm going to wait patiently. I wasn't able to get the kill, so I'm going to close the door and I'm going to come up here to get a different angle on this guy. And unfortunately, he was able to predict my movement, which I gave him props for. That's why you have to be as smart as possible and try to predict enemy movements. So here we are. I did get the final kill there. And that is the end of the match right now. I got 34 kills. So yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it. It shows me that this is the kind of content that you want to continue to see. And subscribe if you're new around here. I would love for you guys to join me in my journey to 100,000 subscribers in Turbo Nation. I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel lately. It's absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.